being an amateur waffler on YouTube, my day job is working as the communications director and spokesperson for the Harry Potter Alliance. The Harry Potter Alliance is a nonprofit organization that turns fans into heroes. Using the enthusiasm and community spirit of fans as well as the power of story, we have been able to achieve a lot of different things over the past 10 years. From raising over $123,000 with nerdfighters to send five cargo planes of life-saving supplies to Haiti, to donating over 200,000 books and building libraries around the world, as well as registering first-time voters, phone banking for marriage equality, and working on immigration reform, economic equality, mental health, bullying, and so much more. And just this week, we announced our biggest victory of all time. After four years of dedicated campaigning, we have successfully negotiated with Warner Brothers to make all Harry Potter chocolate fair trade. Now while we were working on this, one of the things we did was make our own fair trade chocolate frogs. Because we wanted to show Warner Brothers not only that it was possible, but that there was a market for it among Harry Potter fans. So to celebrate this amazing victory by Harry Potter fans around the world, I dug up some of the last ever remaining HPA brand chocolate frogs, and today we are going to find out if fair trade chocolate frogs waffle. So we've got a whole bunch of HPA fair trade chocolate frogs here. And Hermione! Born to muggle parents, Hermione Granger is often considered to be the brightest wizard of her <laughs> age. <laughs> Witch. I believe Hermione is a witch. Nice job, HPA. <laughs> these also come with little fact sheets about how these were made, step by step, how they were made, and also the importance of fair trade chocolate. What if like all HPA merch, when it went out of stock, like when we weren't gonna make it anymore, I just waffled it. Like t-shirts, posters, travel mugs. <laughs> I just waffled it. All right, put the frogs on. We'll do this guy in the middle. Oh no, they're melting already. Will HPA fair trade chocolate frogs waffle? Whoa, that's melting down fast. That's wild. I wanted to keep this on really light because you know, I figured like it won't take long with these and I don't want the chocolate to just turn into nothingness. But yeah, this is pretty quick. So I guess we got to see what happens already. Ready? Whoa! Oh, oh no! <laughs> that looks so cruel. Look at his face! We just like smashed them! It's like roadkill frogs! This is so sad! Why did I do this? This was a terrible idea. Oh, I feel so sad. Let's just, we'll take these off and see, see what happens. Some of them look melty, but then it's, all, it's hardening already. This is what happens to chocolate on waffle iron. It's deliciously melty for a few seconds, but then it just hardens back up like normal chocolate again. Oh my gosh, here's an eyeball. I'll eat that first. Ooh, that's pleasant. Oh, that's cool. So it's almost like melted chocolate inside of a hard shell. Oh, that's awesome. If you can stomach killing your frogs this way, I recommend waffling it. <laughs> Maybe do a similar kind of chocolate that is not um, in the shape of a friendly animal, so you feel less guilty. Oh boy, that felt a little cruel to do that to the frogs. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who has suggested that I waffle chocolate frogs, whether HPA brand or Warner Brothers brand. And a special thank you to anyone watching this who was involved in the HPA's campaign over the years. You made this happen. The fair trade victory that is not this episode of Will It Waffle. If you want to know more about this situation, you can watch this video that I made going over the whole history of the HBA's campaign for ethically sourced chocolate frogs. As always, leave your suggestions for future waffles down in the comments. And if you want to try waffling chocolate frogs or waffling anything else or creating waffle art or whatever you create, I want to see it. So document your fun and upload it anywhere using the tag Will It Waffle. Thank you all for being a part of this weird and wonderful community. I'll see you next time for more waffles. Thank <laughs> you.